Hey guys, and welcome back to Drop the Mic. Y'all know what to do. Come in the door, hit that like button. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel. And remember that everything I say over here is in my opinion for entertainment purposes only. And everything is alleged. Listen, y'all take a peek at this little, I don't even know what we want to call it, excerpt. It's a little sneak peek. All right, and then after y'all watch that, I'm gonna come back with my commentary. Welcome to dinner later. I don't have a problem with that. You can celebrate it today. Later on and still today, are you? I don't get the issue. It's still today her birthday. I and I said, you're welcome to get her later on. Even though it's an odd year and I don't have to. You can get her later on. You can, you can, Martell, and you had an invitation to come, but guess where you were? And you were in So did y'all see that? Did y'all see that? See, that's the problem. I discussed this in my commentary that I gave on the whole custody paper issue. The very last video I did in regards to the custody issue. This man does not respect this woman's boundaries. He doesn't respect that there is a time and a place for everything. And when he has the kids on his seven days, he's welcome to throw any kind of party he wants. He's welcome to do any kind of celebration that he wants and no one will stop him. But he thinks that he can control his seven days along with her seven days as well. Let's keep it real. It's her birthday. Okay, so you want to celebrate on her birthday. So she says, you know what? I'll compromise. Even though I don't have to, you can see her later on tonight. But I just don't want you at this event. But guess what? It had nothing to do with him wanting to see his daughter on her birthday. He wanted to crash her event and he wanted to do what he wanted to do. And I'm sorry, if it was me, his ass would be hauled up out of there right by, by them two big ass Dumbo ears of his and taken right to the nearest fucking jail cell. Because there's no way in hell you're going to come into an event that's private. I ask you nicely to leave. You start screaming and hollering and disrespecting not only me, but my guests upsetting my children at the, at the birthday party because you want to come in here and show your entire ass. Have your own party. And guess what? These are the things that you should have thought about before you were swinging it low and spreading it wide with your whore. Okay? That's what you should have thought about. We're not doing parties together anymore. You need to do your own party. You need to have your own event when it comes to Christmas and Thanksgiving. And let's keep it real. We all sat and watched this weirdo had the kids for all the holidays this year. Not one time did Mel crash any event that this man was having. Not one. She didn't get to see her kids on Christmas Day. She didn't get to see her kids on Thanksgiving Day. She didn't get to spend any of those holidays with her children because he had all those holidays, right? Okay, peep this. 
He didn't invite her over and I believe even if he did, she would not have come just to maintain those boundaries. See, but he feels like he should be able to come to anything that she have because what because you're their father no you need to respect her space the same way you didn't respect her space when she asked you not to walk her out to the car because you she didn't want you in her space you still insisted on doing something against her will this ninja don't know what no means i'm telling y'all i'm sorry father or no father he has to be taught until this man realizes that he can't have his way whenever he wants to he's going to continue to behave in this manner it's just like a child a child does not stop doing or pushing boundaries until you implement consequences once you implement those consequences they remember those consequences they no longer want those consequences and then they start to respect the boundaries that's put in place but but if you don't punish him, he's going to keep doing this. He's going to continue to behave this way. You have to put a stop to it. If that ninja blinked wrong, I will be calling the cops on him. And I don't give a shit. You can say what you want. Oh, that's just another black man in jail. Well, guess what? He wasn't worried about jail when he came to my private event and showed his entire ass. I would not care because I'm telling you, he don't respond to um, being cordial. He don't respond to compromise. He only responds to getting what he wants. And when he don't get what he wants, then he becomes violent and he becomes ignorant and there's no way in hell that I would have that fool around my at my event acting like that I just wouldn't that would be the last event that he showed up at and showed his ass because he would it would be a 100% guarantee that the next time he did it you will be in the Madison County Jail right there in Huntsville Alabama goodbye Get your girl to bail you out, boo, because I wouldn't even bail him out. I'm telling you, she got to stop playing nice. He doesn't understand that language. He's going to continue to push the envelope, going to continue to disrespect your wants and needs because he thinks his wants and needs are more important than your wants and needs, Melody. He doesn't care how you feel. He doesn't care how it makes the kids feel. All he cares about is satisfying his little dumb ass ego. He's immature. In my opinion, he's a narc allegedly. And narcs do not care about anybody else's feelings but their own. That's it. That's all they care about. And until they get their weird needs met, they act out. You have the only way, the only way that you're going to be able to stop this behavior is to stop him in his tracks and start implementing those daggone punishments. And if that punishment means calling 911 and getting him put in jail, then that's just what it would be. Stop giving this ninja a pass. He doesn't deserve one. He has dragged this woman up and down the street from here to kingdom come. He doesn't deserve a pass. Stop giving him passes because at this point, all it's doing is hurting the children. He don't need another pass. Like, no, when, when, if I got to look and see my kids crying because they see their father acting a damn fool, he's no, you need to learn. And if that's the only way you're going to learn is if the white man got to show you, then guess what? That's what's going to happen. You going to jail, call the police immediately. Do not pass go. And guess what? I bet you'll think twice before you show up at another private event and demand that you get in. No, it's crazy and this is the type of behavior that Mel has been dealing with yet they say she don't want to compromise she 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 they need to work to they both need to grow up no it's only one person in that situation that needs to grow up and that is Martell asshole Holt he needs to grow the f up 
period, point blank. He's hurting the children. He's being the one that's hard to get along with. They got 50-50 custody. You mean to tell me that that man couldn't wait until that night to celebrate his daughter's birthday? It wasn't even about the birthday. He wanted to antagonize that woman. He wanted to see who was at that party. And that's another thing. That's the reason why he put that stupid shit out there about that councilman. Because he thought he had he thought he thought had put two and two together. And that the councilman was who Mel was dating. So he was going to try to put it on blast on social media. That's how weird this dude is. But yet, she's not compromising. And she needs to grow up and get along with him. I'll be damned. His ass is stupid. You can't get along with him. And I'm going to say it again. He wants to control his 50% of the custody. And he wants to control her 50% of the custody. And and, and if, if I was her, it ain't no happiness. It ain't no happiness, Jack. You will learn to know what the inside of a jail cell look like. Because I would lock your ass up every single time. Every time you step out. Of, if you blink wrong, 911. It got to happen. If it doesn't, he's going to continue with this behavior. That's my thoughts. That's how I feel. Y'all got to let me know how y'all feel. Jump down in the comments. Tell me what you think of all of this that's happened. What do you think this means in reference to them alleged court papers that's come out and how she needs to work with him? You see how far working with this idiot gets her. Mm -hmm. don't forget to hit that like button y'all and don't forget to subscribe to my channel and i'll see you guys in the next video bye what's up with you